Baby, where did you go? Where are you? Just tell us you're safe, please. I, I don't know. He's just gone, like. I really wish Primink would come back. It's so sad. I didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, this is scary and I'm sweating. So I was gone for legitimate reasons and I'm not supposed to talk about them or aloud, I think. I don't know what I'm allowed to do anymore. So I'm not gonna mention it. But what I can tell you is I bought a plant and I named him Frank and he's a little cutie patootie. Anyways, I have a video here. It was hard to make because I forgot how to edit and script and do most things, but I drank a lot of coffee and I cried a little and I kind of like how it turned out. This is a story about one of the biggest mysteries on the internet. I hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, so today I went on my Facebook and asked you guys some questions. What is your favorite day? Why? I love you. I love you, you too. My favorite day of the week is Thursday. Fans fear for Marina's safety due to really bizarre behavior on her YouTube channel. So for all you ladies and men out there, I actually seriously recommend that you become vegan. Is Marina Joyce okay? What is going on? Number one, I haven't changed. And you've all got this impression that I've changed. She had some visible bruising. She started acting really bizarrely. Was she kidding? Kidnapped? Was she being abused? Was she on drugs? Some people are saying she got kidnapped. Dear Marina, I know that you're sad. The tears run down your face. You think about how painful it is to feel this way. Ten years ago, a British teenager named Marina Joyce created a YouTube channel. This is something new anyway. Hi, my name's Marina Joyce. What's your name? Her videos were what you'd expect from that period. She had skits, tutorials, stories, a little bit of everything. But something about Marina's channel seemed to stand out to people because her channel grew pretty fast, reaching 600,000 followers in just a few years. She was quirky and emo, and I think back then on YouTube, that was kind of the thing to be. You had all these weird emo people running the place and guess what they all turned out to be weird emo people <laughs> who would have thought you want me to kiss you <laughs> how can i resist now you may be wondering why are we interested in this young teenage girl and you know that's that's a valid question but it's because six years after creating her channel marina will become the center of one of the biggest mysteries on youtube it's 2016 the year of female ghostbusters <laughs> oh i don't have a cat he's a dog his name's my cat your, your dog's name is my cat? And Mike Hat. This movie actually wasn't that bad. You guys are just haters. At the start of the year, everything seemed normal. Marina was a little older and a little less emo. We saved one. Thank the Lord. <laughs> but as the months go on, Marina's personality begins to change. What is your favorite day? Why? I love you. I love you too. My favorite day of the week is Thursday. And it's because ever since a child, I just always loved the day Thursday. Now at first, the changes were very subtle. She started repeating herself and her body movements became almost robotic. But as time went on, the changes became more noticeable. So for all you ladies and men out there, I actually seriously recommend that you become vegan. And also the vegan products out there are really good for your skin. So you should actually look into getting vegan products because they're really nice for your skin and they're really healthy for your skin so I recommend them highly for your skin. This weird behavior goes on for months and some of Marina's viewers at the time begin to notice and start leaving comments out of concern. Now Marina sees these comments and decides to address these concerns in a Q&A video. Number one, I haven't changed and you've all got this impression that I've changed and it's actually all because of all the dislikes and stuff which I know that you're like, oh she's changed because of all these dislikes but I just want to let you know that I haven't changed. This reminds me of when I'm like in the shower and I'm arguing with myself, you know, do you guys do that? <laughs> yeah. We we were right in that situation. No, you weren't right. You're dumb. Yeah, but okay, you know what? Marina tries to assure her audience that she is fine, but in reality, she looked the worst she has ever been. She was repetitively rambling and seemingly on the brink of tears. And she blames all of the concerned comments on a clickbait thumbnail she did a while back. Now, I couldn't find the thumbnail, but apparently it's a censored cock. Is that allowed <laughs> to be said? Um, I'm talking about the animal. Chill. Look at these cute little cocks running around. <laughs> Now clearly, the explanation she gave didn't make any sense. And at this point, the concern was growing rapidly. With every new video she posted, the comments began to get more and more filled with people confused with what was going on. Her entire personality changed in the span of a few months, but Marina continued uploading like nothing was happening. All of this concern reaches a breaking point when Marina uploads a now-deleted video titled, Date Outfit Ideas. 
guys, so today I'm advertising Style You and I'm advertising their clothes. So this is me just advertising their clothes and yeah, I love you guys so much. On the surface, this video was a normal sponsored ad, but when you look closer, some very concerning things begin to stand out. For one, when Marina was showing her outfits, you can clearly see her arms are covered in bruises. Then during the video, you can see someone off camera directing Marina where to stand, which this was very odd because Marina's channel had always just been her by herself or with some friends and now someone is behind the camera directing her. The most concerning thing happens at the start of the video. The camera pans down to show Marina's dress and a faint whisper could be heard and it sounds like Marina saying help me. Two days after this video was released, an anonymous fan posted a long article documenting all of the changes that have been taking place to Marina, and they claimed that Marina was possibly being held hostage or kidnapped and in serious danger. This post finally broke the dam, and this is when Marina Joyce became one of the biggest mysteries on the internet. Fans fear for Marina's safety. Is Marina Joyce okay? What is going on? She had some visible bruising. Was she kidnapped? Was she being abused? Was she on drugs? Some people are saying she got kidnapped. Within days, the Marina story became widespread news. Hashtag Save Marina Joyce was trending number one on Twitter. Marina's channel gained 1 million subscribers and her videos gained 50 million views practically overnight. It's kind of hard to portray how big this was. I remember when all this stuff came out, I was a child and I was reading all the tweets and I was watching all the videos and I was just thinking, hey guys, why aren't we helping this girl out? Clearly something's wrong. Someone needs to do something. I can't, I have a bedtime, but you know, someone, Come on, do something. <laughs> Now the odd thing is that when this was all blowing up, Marina Joyce was completely silent on the topic for days, and instead she was tweeting some very strange things. If you want to party with me, question mark, winky face heart, tweet me now if you want to party with me, smiley face. I'll put details out for where to meet soon for the day. Meet me at Bethnal Green at 6.30 a.m. if you would like to join partying with me at that event. I don't know what that's called. That's some weird anyway. thing, probably. I don't know. Bring a friend. <laughs> Bring a friend so you don't get lost. And then she posted a link to a Facebook event. The issue with these tweets is that the event that she linked to wasn't on that day and it wasn't at 6.30 a.m. So to put this all into perspective, everyone on the internet is convinced that Marina has been kidnapped and instead of posting a simple video showing that she's fine, she or whoever is running the account is trying to get everyone to go to an event that doesn't exist. Now people got scared that these tweets were some kind of trap done by Marina's captors to get a lot of people in one place to harm them. Calm down people. And tweets started being made about calling the police to do a welfare check on Marina. Marina sees these tweets and she responds with, no, don't call the police. That's absolutely ridiculous of you to do. Frowny, sad face. And then she replies to that, sorry for the angry face. I didn't mean to do that, sad face. I'm just extremely upset with you for suggesting that. Cry face, heart. Hmm. This... <laughs> So in short, the cops get called. And honestly, I don't blame anyone <laughs> because this, this is some wild stuff right here. Officers have visited YouTube user Marina Joyce. She is safe and well. So the cops visit Marina's house and they confirm that she wasn't in any immediate danger. She wasn't kidnapped. She wasn't being held hostage. But the story doesn't die here. People began questioning if the cops Twitter account was real, which that was pretty dumb. Or they thought that maybe Marina looked fine to the police, but was actively still in danger, which honestly, that's a fair point. So in the following days, Marina ends up going on a bunch of interviews to try and clear up what was happening. Hey guys, I'm totally fine. I'm doing all right. Everyone's just a bit confused. This literally, <laughs> this literally sounds like a hostage video. Hey guys, I'm doing fine here. Kidnapped? What? What are you talking about? I'm, I'm just chilling here. And um, I just want to explain that everything's okay and I'm doing okay and I love you guys and you guys are so important to me. Thank you for all the love and support and I know that I'll never be in danger because of you guys. In these interviews, she explained that the bruises on her arms were from falling in the woods. Which I guess that could make sense, but why is she in the woods? I don't know. Is she a werewolf or something? Who knows? Apparently the person pointing and directing her in the video is actually her mom. And also the help me sound was supposedly also her mother trying to direct her. Now these explanations are all good and dandy, but what she doesn't explain is the changes in her personality. People have noticed that you've been like repeating words a lot in your videos. Uh, is that just cause you just do that a lot now or you know, what's going on with that? Um, I don't know. I just don't know. I just maybe cause I do that 
naturally. I just naturally do that, so. After these interviews came out, people finally accepted that Marina at least wasn't in any immediate danger, but she still didn't truly explain what was going on. And this is when the massive concern for Marina became something else. After it was confirmed that Marina was not being held hostage, you know in hindsight, that was a pretty dumb theory. I don't know who came up with it, but they need to chill. So after that, people began coming up with other theories on what was going on. The first theory was that Marina was faking everything from the start. Since her channel grew massively during all of this, and her videos had gained nearly a hundred million views, she profited pretty heavily from this event. This would also explain why she took so long to squash the concern. If she could keep the mystery going long, then she could theoretically bring in more views. Now, since it's been seven years, how do I make a noise that sounds like I'm going to the future? Ooh. <laughs> I can tell you from the future that this theory is not true. Unless she's an amazing actor and she's kept this going for this whole time, it's not true. If it is, give this lady an Oscar. The next theory was that Marina was schizophrenic. Schizophrenia tends to develop in people in their 20s and 30s, and the symptoms for schizophrenia are disorganized thinking and speech. Because I really nice for your skin and they're really healthy for your skin so I recommend them highly for your skin. Extremely disorganized movements. The reason why I've got dislikes and it's not because I've changed by the way it's because I uploaded a uh, fake <laughs> the thumbnail and ever since then everyone's been disliking my video. Delusions, hallucinations. So a few doctors and psychologists online at the time started suggesting that Marina may be developing schizophrenia. Which is I just textbook schizophrenia. And looking back on this this was kind of wild because you had these doctors and psychologists diagnosing Marina just over her videos. The rewired soul would have had a field day. That's all I'm going to say. But you do not understand the realm of mental health. The last main theory was that Marina was on drugs. Now, the evidence for this theory was circumstantial, but to everyone's credit, the circumstances were pretty strong. The theory comes together when you dive deeper into Marina's videos just before and after everything blew up. The word one, what it means to me because of the experiences that I've been through brings me to tears. What it means to Marina, like I was the only one through all these really hard experiences to help myself and to bring myself through it. In this video, Marina is ranting about some event where she experienced almost dying and coming back to life. She doesn't give any details about the event or how it happened or how she came back. She just rants emotionally for 10 minutes about how she's happy to be back. Now people saw this video and they pointed out that feeling like you're dying is commonly associated with psychedelics. In another video, Marina is asked what her biggest wish is and she replies, I want to be a shaman. How cool would it be just knowing Marina Joyce is like a shaman? So yeah, that would be really cool. I'd really love to be a shaman. I'm planning to go to Peru and Amsterdam soon, so I'm super excited for those trips. Now Amsterdam is known for being the Wild West when it comes to drugs and Peru is famous with tourists who want to do psychedelic ceremonies with shamans. And I know this might sound like some crazy paranoid connections to be making. You might be thinking, I'm on drugs. Um, no, I'm not. Everyone around me wants me to be medicated, but you know what? I call them haters. But the connections don't stop here. Days after Save Marina Joyce died down, she started making very weird tweets. I want to be a god like Buddha. I want people to call me Goddess Marina. Marina, the goddess of love. By this, I mean I'm a soul entity bound to you by how much I love you in my heart. Put that on a shirt. You would sell at least one. I'd buy it. And the tip of this craziness comes in a very long Facebook post about Marina wanting to build a temple. I found a couple secrets about the afterlife and I know that I can still contact humans during the afterlife and I want to become God because I want to one day create a temple and a shrine where I am known as God of the Shrine. Could everyone leave comments telling me, explaining to me how I would build this temple? How much money would I need? Sorry. Sorry, it's hard to read. How I can get someone to sculpt a statue for me and paint it. I want a statue representing the divine love and spiritual guidance. Now I try really hard to put myself in people's shoes, not because I like feet, but in this situation, the only thing I can think of to explain this is that let's say I was in a state of delusion. I have something where reality is not making sense to me. And then suddenly out of nowhere, everyone on the internet is talking about trying to save me and all my videos are getting a hundred million views and you know, all this crazy 
crazy stuff is happening. Maybe if I was in a state of delusion, I could see this as a sign from the universe that I'm now God. I could kind of see it. But unfortunately, the rest of the internet couldn't see this. And after all of these posts, Marina becomes a joke. And to create the most holy, sacred place on earth due to my magical, spiritual connection with spirits. <laughs> this temple. This what the fuck is this bitch on? Eight months after Save Marina Joyce, Marina comes out with a video explaining what went on. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be addressing Saving Marina Joyce. She seemed noticeably better in this video, but that could be because the video is highly edited. I can, I just, There's a jump cut literally every sentence. Her explanation of the events that took place was that she suffered from depression and apparently that depression led her to some bad decisions. The assumption to make is that the quote unquote bad decisions means drugs but that's all the info we get from marina the video was pretty well received and i think it was because it was a good happy ending to save marina joyce she was safe now she looked better and that's kind of all that people wanted but at the same time it felt like a portion of the story was still missing Four years after Marina's explanation video, local police post a missing persons notice for Marina Joyce. Marina, we are here for you whenever you are ready. We can listen, talk you through what help you need, pass a message for you, and help you to be safe. She had been missing for nine days at the time of this post, and people online joked about Save Marina Joyce happening again, which that was kind of mean. This girl was missing, and people were making memes. The odd thing from this event is that Marina's boyfriend at the time made a post on Instagram telling people that Marina wasn't really missing and everyone needs to calm down and side note this boyfriend gives me some bad vibes <laughs> what i can find online it seems like they started dating right after the save marina joyce stuff happened the time when marina was unintentionally super successful and probably had a huge influx of money you know you know what i'm saying you get what i'm putting down here <laughs> and every video i watch of them together he kind of seems like he's her caretaker rather than her boyfriend here are the shoes nike Huh? Just do it, eh? Hey? No? Alright. I have to say, Marina, these are very nice shoes. You've done a very good job with these. And look, maybe he's just awkward on camera. I'm awkward everywhere. So, you know, I understand, but I get some weird vibes here. Okay, back to the video. She was found safely after 10 days, but once again, that's the extent of the information we get. Marina goes back to uploading videos like absolutely nothing had happened. Where was she? Was she in trouble? How was she found? We get absolutely no answers. Hello, it's present day. Frank's doing great. I think he grew a new leaf, but you know, I can't tell because he grows real slow. He's just living the life. So the video was supposed to end here with an open-ended conclusion as to what happened with Marina. I had it all scripted. I had it edited. And honestly, I really liked it because I ended it like Unsolved Mysteries. It was like, what happened to Marina seven years ago? <laughs> we don't know. Do, 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 do. It was great. But while wrapping up this video, I get a notification. Hey, beautiful sacred moon kitties. Since we last saw Marina, she um <laughs> she calls her viewers sacred moon kittens and she puts this filter on her videos that makes her look like a glowing angel. I should have gave a little heads up on that. My bad. This video I'm gonna be spilling it out so yeah keep watching guys because I'm gonna be telling you the truth about everything that went on with me. So this is the video we waited seven years to get. Finally, Marina Joyce is going to tell the truth about what happened to her. So the reason why in my videos I was so weird and laggy and like not well, well one of the reasons was I actually was going to parties. Drugs. Okay, well, that's, that's a wrap. <laughs> that's, a, that's a wrap on that one. I'm a bit conflicted here because even today, if you go to Marita's channel and you watch her new videos, she does not seem okay. For the last seven years, she has essentially become a new person. But if you actually watch her videos, according to her, she says she's happy and doing great and nothing is wrong. So do you accept that this person is fine because they say they're fine? Or do you realize that something clearly isn't right here and you try to do something? I honestly don't know the answer to this. I've reached out to Marina. I've reached out to her boyfriend. I've reached out to Kirk's friends. I've reached out to everyone that I could think of to get in touch with Marina and no one even responds. So I have no clue what is actually happening outside of what Marina posts publicly. I just kind of hope that she has people around her making sure she's okay. Life, I 
forgotten how new ground feels You asked me to dance, I don't stand a chance 